activity monitor open. So the screen flow recorder is here. Okay. And that's its process ID. So I can do sudo renice negative 20, which is the highest priority, ironically. Okay. 79786. And now both screen flow's recording process and factorio are among the two highest priority things on my system. Okay. So they'll get the bulk of the CPU time. That makes sense. That's cool. I don't know why negative 20 is the highest priority. On Mac, yeah. priority goes from negative 20 to 20. That's weird. Well, I, I guess it has to do with the convention that it's nice. Like, nice apps give up the CPU, so a high niceness yeah. means it's low priority. I guess it makes sense, and if it's not nice at all, it takes all the priority. Right. Okay. Makes sense. So, yeah. I, gu I guess that does kind of make sense. But it's really backwards. Like, I would rather just think of things in terms of priority than niceness. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Chance Brutton, and I am... Uh, I'm referring to myself too much. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to Factorio, my... Oh, okay. Ready? Fix it. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Chance Brutton, and welcome back to Factorio. Once again, I'm joined by my friend Chris. Hello. And, uh, holy crap, these drones are just going like mad. What were we even doing last time? <laughs> we are about to build a rocket silo. We are researching the tech right now. Okay. Oh, that's alright. Okay. We have... More iron plates than we can use at the moment. Okay. What were we running low on? Was it purple vials? I don't know. Are we running low on tech vials? Blue vials. We are almost out, yes. Blue vials have a problem. Purple vials, we're short. Um, we do need a lot more artifacts. Okay, I'll go. Okay, hang on, hang on. So, take these, and you might want to request more if we have any. I mean, they're slow to make, so, you know, the system's building them as fast as it can, you know? Okay, I'll request uh, up to 10 short capsule. Actually, I'll just leave it at 100. Yeah, sure. I need armor, so I should probably do that. Yeah. Now, quickly grab the... Here's 10 alien artifacts. That's enough um, for you to make a power armor mark 1, I believe. Okay. Oh, whew. I just grabbed them in time. Uh, and that's the last of the artifacts we have. If you get more than 50, we'll make a power armor Mark II. Okay. A Mark I looks fine. Mark II seems really complicated. Uh, engine units? Oh, actually, it takes more than 50, because it takes a fit. Never mind the Mark II. The Mark <laughs> stick with the Mark I for now. Okay. Um, steel over here. Oh, man. I mean, that's going to be a little bit useless without augments, though. Well, I mean, apart from the fact that it is just generally better, I think. Well, actually, is it? It's got a lit. It looks like it's got a little bit more physical armor. It doesn't give you more protection from acid or explosions, mm -hmm. but it gives you slightly more protection against them biting you. Okay, but they, they never get close enough to bite me, so. Well, you hope not, but just in case. Um, do we still have... actually have you made the armor yet? Uh, no, I I need a. Uh engine units. Well, you know what? I mean, you could maybe just make basic modular armor then and save the artifacts, because you don't really have a good power source right uh, now. You got a couple of... Yeah, I'll just go handles. modular. Yeah, so I mean, I don't really think the power armor is actually worth it at the moment. So just get a bunch more artifacts, and then we'll get power armor Mark IIs, and we'll fit them with better stuff. Okay. In the meantime, I'll keep working on production things back here. I'm concerned about having enough materials for the rocket. But screw it, you know, we'll just come across that as we come to it. Uh, instead, I will work on automating the production of things related to power armor. Because I think it's easier to build these systems mm -hmm. when you need the stuff that you're building for, because then it's easier to keep track of, like, where the shortages are. That makes sense. Because you can look at what's not being built. Oh, did we ever fix our power grid? What do you mean? Like, did we get to a point where it wasn't... Oh, no. I don't think we really did. Should I do that first, or the vials? Um, Should I just do one run, get some artifacts to come back, and then do the power? It seems okay right now. No, we need power more than we need artifacts. Okay. Wait a minute. That's a very good point. Okay, let's see here. I have made a huge mistake. What? I'll be right back. This is not my character. I must have named myself the IP address. Because <laughs> I had to enter it twice. I was like, what did I have to enter oh, twice? Oh, you have. I can see it right here. Your name is 2601500 blah 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 okay. blah. <laughs> okay, so now let me see. That's a good point. I do not want to add on a bunch more power consumption right now. Yeah. 
Because that'll just put us further behind. Am I still gibberish? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. It was space, whale, one word. Yep. This might take a moment. You dumped the stuff you had into a chest before you left, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's 30 solar panels, 30 substations, and 20 accumulators available. Let's, there we go. Let's see how quickly they're being produced. Oh, man. They just gave me like a billion and a half satellite solar panels. I'm going to be calling it that <laughs> forever. Okay. Go grab my junk out of the chest. So solar panels, the problem is they're not getting enough electronic circuits. Substations, advanced circuits, and accumulators, which are produced way down here, as I recall. They're not getting enough batteries. Okay. Because our uh, whatever production was backed up. That's what you were working on last time, I think. Right. We weren't getting enough junk out of our thing. I know, very useful words, junk out of our thing. Well, we are b backed up on petroleum gas, apparently. Actually, I think our they're just slow because they're getting everything they need. Uh, they're just making them kind of slowly. Are they getting everything they need? Yeah. The battery things? Yeah, it's... Oh, okay. They've got full copper, full iron, and yeah. This, oh, wait, they are not getting enough, uh, whatever this blob-looking thing is. Yeah, the sulfuric acid. Well, that that's then, your issue. This blob? This molecular structure? Yeah. I don't... You don't recognize this? No, I know it's a molecular structure. Okay. I was just being facetious. Okay. Yeah, not that dumb. I'm not good at chemistry, but I at least know that's what they're trying to represent. Yeah, I'll add another... I'll add another chemical processing plant to uh, make more sulfuric acid. Okay. Yeah, because I, I always, like, legitimately forget how much chemistry people normally have, because I know... I, I've had more than normal, and so I, like, I, I forget... What's normal? What's normal is not taking a lot of chemistry. Yeah. But, you know, I was really bad at chemistry. That was, like, my worst class. For me, it was probably Calc 2 only because I was taking, like, 23 credits that semester. Uh -huh. And so it was very difficult for me to, to uh, stay studied for all of them. What made you decide to take so many classes? Um, or was it not your decision? The fact that I could. I, I, I was the opposite. I took no AP anything. Like, I wanted to stay as far away from college as I could. Vivian, this is why is we're there, at the same place, and you're 20, and I'm 26. Is there an AP anything in college? Or, or no, I mean in high school. In, in high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. In high school, I was like, I am not touching any of this. They didn't have to. Also, my family... I was I was smart, but I was a bad student, so my family was like, don't take any AP classes, because you'll just fail. Wow, that's, that's terrible advice. Yeah, if you ever meet my family, you'll see. <laughs> they're great people, but they're honest. <laughs> they don't sugarcoat nothing. Oh, so you have to make the sulfur and then turn that into sulfuric acid by mixing it with the water? Yeah. Is that how science works? Um, uh, you also need iron plates. In um, hmm. It's a good question as to whether that's how science works. <laughs> Bear in mind, all the chemistry I took was a very long time ago. <laughs> well, I took Chem 111 like, a couple of years ago, and like, I kind of remember like there's acids and there's bases. And they're pretty much the same thing. They're just on different sides of a spectrum, but they both corrode things. Is that correct? Yeah. And so there's a lot of things that we call acids that are actually just bases, like bleach. Well, bleach is a base, but like since it's all a spectrum... We pick water as a measuring point. Okay. We say, if you've got more free, um, it's not proton. I mean, basically, it's if you've got more free protons, you're an acid. And okay. if you've got less free protons, then you're a base. Okay. But it's not actually store. It, it's not actually just free floating protons. They're they're actually in the form of ions. So you get um, hydronium and hydroxide. Okay, you so, lost me. <laughs> Hydronium's just uh, H3O, and hydroxide's HO. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is right. So, they're basically water molecules, except that one of them is short of hydrogen, and one of them's got an extra one. Okay. And a hydrogen is really just a proton. 
Okay, huh, because it's just one. It's just one, yeah. So hydrogen is basically a proton. So pretty much what's that, why they work as like acids and they dissolve things is because like it's collecting the missing piece. Yeah. More or less, and so it's destroying that's why, the structure. That's why like acid is really bad against metal, because mm-hmm. metal is held together as kind of a... Um, you can think of it as a free-floating sea of electrons holding together all the different protons. Okay. As opposed to something like... Uh, like salt, which has a very rigid structure to it that's formed with single bonds okay. uh, everywhere. I think it's single bonds. I don't, I don't actually remember the details of the molecular structure of salt, and I'd have to plot it down on paper. But, um, so, metals are uh, a sea of electrons. And so, f- an, an acid, I, th- I think I got that backwards, actually. I think an ac- acid's actually short protons. So, or, no, 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 an acid, sorry. Yeah, I was right. It's been a long time. Acid has excess protons, which are positively charged. Okay. And so they act as a sponge for the sea of negatively charged electrons. Okay. And they suck up those negatively charged electrons. And those are what's holding the metal together. Okay. So the metal dissolves in the acid because of that. That actually kind of makes sense. Yeah. So I guess today the recording is is about science. Yes. (laughs) Apparently. What happened to my tank? Uh, perhaps you blew it up? I've been known to do that, but I don't remember blowing it up. I remember I crashed one under the wall, but that was a while ago, wasn't it? Maybe that was this one. Why is it that the accumulators take gigajoules, but powers in megawatts? Because we're not consuming power that fast, but we are storing a lot of it. No, I mean, like, why is it joules and not watts? For store power. Because joules is a unit of energy, watts is a unit of energy over time. Watts are how fast the energy is flowing out. Joules are how much energy there are. I really should know this. It's like it's like saying gallons versus gallons per second. Okay. I, I should know this given that I'm like, you know, electrical engineer. It's confusing. Oh, God. I just had this discussion the other day with... I work in the computer science department, right? Yeah. So I work with a bunch of people who know computer science way better than I do. Yeah. But... They don't know power as well as I do. Okay. And so, like, you know, people are, people are you know, talking about, like, you know, storing the, you know, the amount of energy consumed as kilowatt, or sto- as the, the amount of power consumption as kilowatt hours. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, kilowatt hours isn't a unit of power. And they're like, what? It's like, it's energy. Kilowatt hours is, you know, en- en- energy, you know, the amount stored. It's, uh, but, you know, it. It's confusing because of the name term, you know, the terminology and all yeah. that. Yeah. Like, we need some laser turrets. Really, right I'd prefer it if we just referred to, like, joules and watts instead yeah. of, like, kilowatt hours. Because kilowatt hours sounds like power when it's, in fact, energy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put a couple of I'm laser listening turrets to myself, up. and I'm like, man, I am such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what you're talking about. At least you're not, like, rambling and it's all wrong. Mm-hmm. So you're going to put more turrets up? You think we're not defended? Oh, our slower panel just got attacked. Oh. So we need turrets. Oh, right. I see. Yeah. Um, so we are defended for our main base, but the problem is now we're extending beyond our defenses. Yeah. Okay. So I guess back when... Uh, <laughs> yes. Like way back pre-drones, I stuck 110 accumulators in a chest. <laughs> oh. So I think we're good. Well, at least we found it before the game was over. <laughs> Why is it? Oh, apparently if you shift-click, it'll tell them to build it. I did not know that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. So if you've got them in the system, you can just say, hey, build them here. I knew you could do that with blueprints. I didn't realize you could shift-click something you were already holding. It's amazing. So I can just say, hey, put down a pipe. Although I bet in a and lot then, of cases it'll take longer to do that than just to do it yourself. But Possibly, yeah. Oh, now we're running short on sulfuric acid again. But we're running short because we're low on sulfur, which is amazing. Now the problem is actually somewhere else. That's progress. You get excited about weird things. It is really strange when progress is your problem is now somewhere else. (laughs) Let's add more sulfur production then here. Didn't want more laser turrets, but I guess I'll take them. Quit bringing me things I have to place. I want to go tank. Just say no. But when I have a handful, I'm, I feel like it's my duty. Oh, they brought me the engine units. Oh, no, they didn't. I'm really bad at reading. Rocket silo is halfway researched. I don't know if it's still progressing, but... It might not be. We might, it might Because we might be out of artifacts. 
So the regular grid that was a dream of many episodes ago has become somewhat regular. Yeah, it's. I'm trying to keep everything in the, it's on just, the grid. Yeah, it's just hard with some pre-established processes. Yeah. Like, you don't want to move everything. Oh, actually, we're not offloading the sulfur fast enough. I didn't even realize that was an issue. Oh my gosh, that's an issue up here too. Oh, I didn't need more sulfur production. I just needed more fast inserters for moving the sulfur. <laughs> Who knew? Oh, I used all my steel. Someone bring me 50 steel plates. This this game is making me lazy. <laughs> now if we start from scratch, they'll be like, Oh God, why don't we have drones? Okay, that was quick. It brought me 100 even though I didn't ask for 100. And bring me... Light. Oh, I see. It produces two sulfur at a time, so it needs two inserters. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it gets backed up, because okay. the inserters are just fast enough to keep up. Mm -hmm. It's just that two come out at once. Uh, let's see. I, we still do need more sulfur. Okay. It's getting a little hard to nest in here, though. <laughs> I'm scared every time I run across the rails. Yeah, me too. I've got to keep, like, cautioning myself and be like, zoom the screen out first... Look both ways before crossing the rails. Hey, why aren't you grabbing sulfur? You're powered, right? Yeah. Back. Oh. Oh, it's because we're backed up on sulfuric acid going to the processing units. Because they're not getting enough electronic circuits. Electronic circuits are the source of all problems. They have been this whole time we've been playing this game. Are you using the construction drones to build or replace something? Nope. Is there, like, a market? Because they're, they're saying that there's something that they can't build. And that's sometimes the case when things are destroyed, so I'm asking if, like, that can also pop up when you're using the logistic system to build stuff or do things. I'm building everything by hand, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, light sulfur stopped coming down. Like, all sulfur suddenly stopped. It's because we're out of petroleum gas. Because, presumably, we are backed up on heavy oil? Yes, we are backed up on heavy oil. We're going to go south and get some of the southern aliens. Mm -hmm. They seem to be, like, slowly approaching... I'm going to set up another heavy oil cracking, because apparently we need it. We have so much solid fuel. I only hope it's enough. I should probably not drive my tank on the train tracks. No. I shudder to think what would happen. Well, aliens are down at the copper mine. I'm going. I'm almost there. They're about to meet their doom. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, no. Stop. What did you do? Oh no, you're just running into everything at the copper mine. <sighs> at least tell me the aliens are dead, please. <laughs> yes, the aliens are dead. Okay, so the only thing down there causing mass destruction is you. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> what did I do? I don't know. I somehow knocked this all off the grid. So that's neat. How does none of this have power? What did I do? <laughs> I'm sorry, Chance. Oh, more aliens. Oh, this is new. I think there's a wall and a turret there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Might not be powered, though, because I crashed into everything. Well, yeah, I mean, apart from acts of Chris, we're good. <laughs> that I don't know about. Yeah, I broke all our mining. <laughs> like, literally all of it. I don't know how, though. Where was it <sighs> connecting up to there? I'm not even entirely sure what I did here. Are you on the grid? Yes, yes, yes. You're on the grid. It sounds like some dystopian sci-fi. Are you on the grid? <laughs> ah, I see. There's the break. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed what I broke. Okay, great. <laughs> I just come barreling in. And I'm like, no tanks, stop. Actually, I'm going to pick it up and move it. It's not safe here. What is it? Is it Z or Q? Q. Change weapons? Yeah, it's Q. Q. Any fan of... Star Trek should know that the hot key to switch to the big guns is Q. It's a bad joke. Incidentally, it's also the hot key for Earl Grey. Can you imagine if you could just make T Earl Grey hot in Factorio? <laughs> so the new aliens are much stronger. Yes, they, they do get stronger over time. It one-shot me in modular armor. Yeah. Have you used the destructor capsules or did you just lose them? Uh, actually, they're in that chest still. Uh, I take it you're going to be dealing with the aliens? Yes. As soon as you can. There's no rush. I think they got taken care of by the, the laser turrets. Oh, okay. Well, then it is actually no rush. <laughs> Wait, what? Why aren't you working? Oh, now we're not getting enough crude oil. It's it's too polite. Those are some pretty bad jokes, Chance. Oh, it, it's early yet. Just wait. They're only going to get worse. 
Wait, this is my water and that's yours? Yeah, mine's over here. I thought I hadn't drunk anything yet. I watched you drink like a bun. Really? You're going crazy. Oh, well. That explains why half the bottle's gone. I've got a problem. I don't know when half the bottle's gone. <laughs> that's a problem. So the question now is, where do I get this? All I know is that the answer is 42. Okay. That's about how many bullets I have when they killed me. Why don't I go add 45 billion more things to our power grid? Okay. Oh, you mean like things to supply or store power yeah. or things to consume it? Both. Or a note to supply. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you could add things to consume it too. That would just be doing my job for me. Yeah. No. You're good enough at your job. You don't need help. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.